Hey guys, in this video we're going to create this e-commerce UI design in Figma. Now we're going to use some amazing mockups from LS Graphics and I also want to remind you that I recently launched a free UI UX design course on how to get started in UI UX design and I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years now so I'm basically sharing all of the tips and everything that I learned in order to get started in the most efficient way as well as free source files which you can see from the YouTube videos and these tutorials. Now without further ado, let's get started. As a first step, we're going to create a frame and we're going to select the desktop 1440 pixels of width and let's rename this to e-commerce and then we're going to add the logo. So let's go ahead over here and let's say, let's write Eleganza and what we're going to do is we're going to select a different font. In this case, we're going to go with uh, Minion Pro. And let's make this one bigger. And we're going to alternate it with uh, also another font. So this one's going to be for the logo and some other elements. And then we're going to use uh, Avenir LT in order to create uh, the actual menu. So we have a nice blend of uh, serif and sans serif uh, fonts, which uh, work pretty well in uh, uh, certain instances. So let's make this one smaller, maybe 15 will do the job. And uh, we're going to go ahead over here and uh, use uh, this feature. Now let's uh, write our menu. So going to duplicate it a few times by using shift option and then command D. As you can see, we can create uh, different uh, elements uh, pretty fast. And let's just swap these uh, two guys over here and we're pretty much uh, set and good to go. All right, let's bring these ones closer to each other. And uh, what we're gonna do this time is we're going to have uh, a two icons on the right. First one is going to be a search icon since that's a quite a common pattern in e-commerce websites, or I mean, a very useful feature indeed. So let's use Nucleo icons in order to find uh, our search icon. Let's bring it here. Then we're also going to have a hamburger menu on the top right as well. Okay, this one didn't catch the bottom parts. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one works. All right. So one thing that you can notice is that uh, um, when you're dragging icons in Nucleo from Nucleo, they're essentially creating frames, so we're going to group those since uh, we don't really necessarily want to have uh, frames within this website uh, design. So, all right, this will do. And as you can see, the search icon uh, is a little bit thicker than the hamburger menu, and I want some level of consistency, so probably going to increase uh, <clears throat> the stroke of the menu just for the sake of consistency. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. Let's bring these guys here. I'm going to duplicate this text since we're going to use it in just a moment. And uh, another thing I'm, I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to make it all caps. Uh, also add some uh, um, dividing uh, spaces between one letter and the other. Let's bring this one more on the left. And there we go. All right, let's make this one a little bit lighter. Same for this guy here. And we are in a good position. Maybe the 
this menu item should be smaller. So there's a little bit of uh, tweaking going on. And uh, this is regular part of uh, the design job, really. All right, actually, I'm probably going to keep the search maybe on the left or just remove it altogether for for now. Just going to keep the, the hamburger menu. So we are going to give a more minimal touch to this. All right, now let's go over here. We're going to write uh, our breadcrumb. Let's make this one uh, Roman. Let's bring this one here. And uh, I'm going to write iPhone 12 and add uh, a arrow. So let's find an arrow that could work well for these breadcrumbs. Maybe we're going to just use this one here. All right, let's sample that gray and let's make this one 50% opacity. All right, cool. So now we're going to leverage uh, an iPhone mockup from uh, LS Graphics. So as you can see, there are these amazing mockups and uh, we're essentially just going to grab the um, the iPhones uh, in of themselves. We're not going to really tweak the mockup all that much or at all. So we're just going to copy and paste it over here. Let's scale it down using the scale tool and let's bring uh, this uh, guy right here all right now we're going to add uh, also <clears throat> the other options and the other colored options uh, available on the left uh, so that we have uh, some more options when it comes to the colors and uh, let's do that right now so i'm just going to select these different artboards and uh, we're going to basically add them actually let me let me just grab all of these frames let's add them over here let's bring them below and i'm just going to bring the very first one on the top since it's the one which is selected and i'm going to bring the other ones below by the way, I'm leaving the link to this free mockup from Alice Graphics, so feel free to check it out in the link in the description. And now let's just select all of these. Let's use the scale tool. Let's make them way smaller. We're going to bring them inside the artboard. All right, just like that. Let's bring them over here to be aligned with uh, the other element and there we go all right so far so good let's distribute horizontally but we cannot do it since uh, these are frames so i'm going to need to unframe those which is totally fine and i'm just going to group them individually in order to be able to do the distribute horizontal <clears throat> spacing which for some reason is still not working um there must be a technical reason okay um maybe i just didn't select all of them all right so it worked in the end and that's the, the important part so let's use a color to basically notify that this uh, this one is selected And maybe it can be this one. Or maybe you can use uh, something more, more subtle like that. But it must still maybe with a tint of blue. All right. Yeah, that uh, definitely work. Let's bring these elements uh, 
Vi bedre ud. Mm. For some reason, they're still not uh, distributing the first time round. Okay, that'll do. And let's make this one uh, smaller in uh, when it comes to the actual stroke dimensions. All right, so far so good as always. Let's make the logo just a little bit bigger. I think that would uh, benefit the overall design. And then now let's also make this one just a tiny bit smaller. What we're gonna do next is we're going to start adding the description. So let's have the main title here. Uh, let's just keep it like this. And now let's add the price, which I can't really remember what's, what's the price on this one. Maybe let's just put 6.99. And of course, GBP and let's increase uh, the size of the font just a little bit. Let's bring it over here. We're going to start adding the um, some more informations. make this one bigger and yeah I mean at this point it's just about uh, figuring out some different uh, alternatives and options let's add the color just making this one up and now let's add some uh, of the different uh, color combinations available. So this first one is red. We're going to also add a stroke. First stroke, which is going to be white. Second stroke, which is going to be light gray. And uh, this uh, very first one it's going to be actually let's like this one here inside and this one should be outside uh, actually also this one like this it's it's not working as bad as I thought I wanted to create like a different effect but now that I'm looking at it it's not that bad. Maybe you can just um, get away with this. All right. It's like this second color. Then the third one. Now it's the turn of the blue. And we also have uh, the two remaining ones, which is the gray and the very light version right here. All right, so let's just remove uh, the, the stroke on this one. Let's make this one 2.5 just to make it very clear. Uh, 
All right. We are going the right direction for sure. And uh, let's make the color just a bit bigger. Let's add a little bit of less um, margin in between these elements. And now we're going to actually go ahead and create the, the card. So, or at least the form to <laughs> make the purchase. So we're probably going to select the color more or less like this. Let's use 1.5. Bring this guy here. Now let's use uh, an element uh, just this one here, small arrow for the drop down selection. Let's cancel this one here. And let's go ahead and let's add the product quantity. It's so going to write one. Plus and minus. And now we're going to add the, the add to cart call to action, which we're going to use uh, with this font right here. Let's make it just a bit smaller though. Let's use a dark uh, fill for this one. All right, maybe let's make it black in order to Really make it stand out a little bit more, a bit less of spacing between the letters. And there we go. All right, so we're doing all, all good so far. Add the wish list, of course. technical specification call to action and the add to wish list is going to be a hard to find the heart in the end. Let's make this one medium. And uh, I think so far, we're doing pretty well. Now what we want to do is to actually figure out a way to add an arrow. Maybe let's just keep it like this. 
now let's find a description for this. So basically, let's go to the Apple website. And we're, go we're going to select iPhone, select the first one, learn more. We're just going to grab some uh, text uh, from uh, the current uh, text specs. There we go. All right. So it's so really important which element that, that we get. It's just like Lorem Ipsum text. Uh, so that will do just fine. And we probably want to make these uh, into bullets, little bullet points. Let's go over here. Description. You're also going to write here. going to add the magnifying glass icon. Mm, also, also this plus could work totally fine. So let's actually just go ahead. Let's add it over here. Right, so I think this is uh, pretty much done. Maybe let's just add uh, some more text on the side. Let's go back to this uh, quadrant. We're going to Let's really grab one of these elements. Um, some more of these uh, descriptions right here. It's going to be technical sheet and uh, yeah, there we go. All right, we don't really know what else to add in this specific uh, uh, case. We can just add one more drop down here under products since I assume there's going to be many different products but um, yeah for the most part uh, we're we are done with this uh, e-commerce website hope you enjoyed this uh, video I want to remind you that I have a free UI UX design course uh, which you can access in the link in the description as well as these uh, free mockups from LS graphics so we'll see you in the next video <laughs>